I'd like to demonstrate how you can warp the grid of Reaper to synchronize it to a click track that you have received from somebody else. It starts off with one tempo and after a few bars tempo decreases and stays on a lower speed. So how do we do that? I already aligned the first click to the first downbeat of a measure and now we can see that all the other grid lines are drifting apart from the click track. So what we need to do is, because this is audio, we set this track to a time base of time. I've got a toolbar button for this, but you can also do it in the right click menu of the item or the track. This is important because as soon as we will manipulate the grid, an audio object would stretch and change its play rate and we don't want to have that. We need two actions from the SWS extension pack. So you must make sure that you have the SWS extensions installed. And the action we need is I've assigned it to my comma key. This action is move closest grid line to mouse cursor perform until shortcut released. And the other one is assigned to my dot key, which is move closest tempo marker to mouse cursor perform until shortcut released. So this one, the second one on my dot key is for correcting the position of a tempo marker already inserted. And the first action is to create a new tempo marker. And that's where we start with. Um, I put the mouse cursor exactly on the sample where I want to insert a tempo marker and hit this action, which will insert a tempo marker at mouse pointer position. So we get um, a new marker and because I opened this in a default project, it has default tempo of 120 BPM. Next, we will put the mouse pointer at the first sample of the next click and hit the comma key again, which will insert a new marker at that position. Interestingly, the preceding marker has now changed to display the actual tempo between the two markers, which is apparently exactly 128 BPM. So knowing this, I will change this marker and fill in 128 BPM and zooming in into the following clicks we see that apparently this is a stable tempo. Every click is lined up until we get to this fourth measure where the start still is okay, but the next click is slightly off. So we will create yet another marker here with the comma key to fix the tempo until here. And now we can see it seems to be a gradual tempo decrease. We will find out by continuing inserting new tempo markers, but we have to make sure that we insert it while the location is close to 
the correct grid line here, which will be moved to our mouse pointer as soon as I insert the tempo marker, which is okay for this click. But for example, if we insert a marker here for this click, it will not land on the right click. As soon as the drift is so big that a marker is further away from the grid line where we want it to be, we will have to use a little workaround to make sure that the right grid line will be warped to the desired click. So for now, if we continue inserting tempo markers, the closest grid line will be the correct one and not this one. So we can continue with the same procedure. We see it lines up with the click now and with the grid. And we still continue. This grid line will be dragged over to this location. can continue the same way. Still. But now it gets a little bit dangerous. If I continue to do it the same way, we will see that now we have a grid line in between the two, so the tempo is wrong. So I undo the last insertion. And what we have to do is, I have to keep my mouse pointer closer to this grid line while inserting a new tempo marker. And now, once it's there, holding down my second key to trigger the correcting action, which will allow me to correct the position of this marker. I will locate it at the desired spot. And we see now we have not an excess grid line in between the two. So we continue the same way. The click is too far away from this grid line, so I just insert a marker around here and then use the other action to put it to the right spot. So now we have come to a tempo of 74, but it's still decreasing. So we continue a little bit. Now we are on 70 and we will insert 70 in this field now. See what happens. And we see that the rest of the clicks align perfectly, even the last one. So after the gradual tempo change, um, the tempo stays at 70 BPM. So once we know this, we can go back in the undo history until, until this point, and then we just insert a new tempo marker of 70 in bar 7 and change this to 70. And then make this one a gradual. Oops doesn't work. Voila. 
So we get away with a lot less markers to achieve the same goal. So if I play the click, this is just the click of this item. And if I insert the audible click from Reaper in real time, we have a double the volume, but they are perfectly in sync. Hope this helps. Stay healthy.